De developing now, scares at two different Chicago schools. Students hit with pepper spray. Some rushed to the hospital. CBS 2's V Nguyen is live at Morgan Park High School, where one of the attacks occurred. V, this wasn't the first time. Brad, it sure was not. Parents told me on and off camera they are frustrated with Chicago Public Schools. They want an explanation. What are administrators doing differently to prevent another incident from happening again? Chicago firefighters were called to Morgan Park High School for the second day in a row for another pepper spray incident. Trayvon Lowry is a freshman. It's very chaotic. Um, people just start choking out of nowhere and that's when we immediately had to go on lockdown. Nobody could leave the classroom or nothing. We was in like one classroom for two hours. Fire officials say three female students were taken to the hospital today in good condition. Just yesterday, two students were transported for trouble breathing. Sometimes in the area, everybody holding their nose and trying to hurry up and get out of that area as fast as they can. Laurie says he had a close call last week. So I was walking past one time and I was coughing for like a good 30 minutes, but it started to settle down. Parents received an email about the incidents last week on Thursday and Friday. School was evacuated as a precaution. The disruption is too much for parents like Thomas Hill. Well, this is supposed to be a safe haven, you know, a place where he's coming to get his education on a daily basis, but it's kind of frustrating to know that this seems to be a continuous thing. He wants to know what's the protocol moving forward. What are we going to do in the future to ensure that our kids are, are coming to a safe haven? You know, it's a school environment. Now, CPS did issue a statement saying nothing is more important than the safety of their students. We've learned tonight the school has added extra security measures and even called for extra district staff to help. Meanwhile, Chicago police say no one has been arrested. Reporting live from Chicago's south side, V. Wynn, CBS 2 News. Brad, back to you. All right, V, thank you.